today I'm doing a fall breakfast video and I just made the most delicious pumpkin spice latte. That moment when your latte is better than Starbucks' latte. Yeah. So I have one that's actually very healthy. One that is not, but it's so delicious, you have to try it anyway. And a DIY pumpkin spice latte. So let's do this. So we are going to start with the pumpkin spice oatmeal and this is the healthy breakfast idea. So I start by taking some oatmeal and just pouring it into a bowl. And then I take a splash of water and a splash of milk to make it a little bit creamy. And I spilled a bit, yeah, let's just forget that happened. And I put it in the microwave for about a minute. After a minute, take it out of the microwave and it should be nice and hot. And then open a can of this pumpkin puree stuff. And then I'm just putting it a spoonful of it, but you can kind of add it to taste. You can do more or less if you want. And then I'm adding some pumpkin pie spice and nutmeg and finishing it off with some candied pecans, which makes it so delicious and adds a bit of crunch. So super easy to make. It only takes like two minutes and it's very, very filling because oatmeal just is filling, but it has that nice fall kind of pumpkin spice flavor to it. So I really love this breakfast. And on to one of my favorite drinks ever, which is a pumpkin spice latte. Start by taking two cups of milk and just heating it up on a stove. You can also add some cream if you'd like, but I decided not to. Next, I'm adding two tablespoons of canned pumpkin and two tablespoons of sugar. And I'm just stirring these together. Again, you can add more sugar if you want it to be sweeter or more pumpkin if you want more of the flavor. Next, I'm making some coffee. You want to make at least two cups if you're making two cups of the pumpkin spice latte. And so I'm just brewing this. And then I'm adding half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice to the mix and stirring that in. Now I'm adding some coffee. I'm just adding two cups of it and stirring it all together. And then I'm pouring it into a cup and I let Monica do it because she thought she'd be good at it, but watch. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, keep going all the way up. Monica. It was so much harder than I Shout out to Paper Towels, they really saved the day here. So next I'm adding some whipped cream to the top of it because whipped cream is so delicious. And I'm finishing it off with a little pumpkin pie spice and nutmeg and it is done! It's more of a coffee flavor, like stronger if you like that. You can add more sugar if you want it to be sweeter though. And now my favorite, the amazing pumpkin waffles. So start with some flour, I'm just taking two cups of that and adding it to a bowl. And then I'm taking half a cup of sugar. You're actually going to want to use brown sugar, but I didn't have any, so I substituted for regular sugar. Then half a teaspoon of salt, a tablespoon of baking powder, three tablespoons of cornmeal, one and a half teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice, and half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Then just stir this all together and set the bowl to the side when you're done. In a second bowl, crack an egg. Then add two and a quarter cups of buttermilk, one cup of canned pumpkin, a quarter of a cup of melted butter, and then stir that all together and add it to the first bowl. Then you're just going to want to mix these together. I recommend an electric mixer. I don't have one though, although it would have turned out better if I did have one. Now I am putting some nonstick cook spray onto my waffle iron, and then I'm just putting about a cup of the mix onto the iron, and then shutting it and leaving it for a couple minutes. After that, you can put it onto a plate, and to finish it off, we're going to top it with some syrup. Like I said, this one's not very healthy. And then I'm putting some whipped cream on it and putting some nutmeg and pumpkin pie spice. And then you can enjoy your finished pumpkin waffle. It is delicious. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to tweet me or Instagram pictures if you make any of them and let me know what you think. Also, thumbs up this video if you want more like recipe videos because I can totally do more. I actually love them. Also, check out my collab channel just like that. I upload every Tuesday, so be sure to check that out. I'll link below. And check out my vlog channel. And I'm going to finish this latte now and enjoy it. Cheers. I will see you guys soon. Bye!